Right, so it's not actually that bad of a team of the week. It's just majority of the players in it already have team of the season cards or already have better cards. So there's no point in using them pretty much. So yeah, I completely forgot that majority of the team of the weeks will be like this. So there's not many that many cards for me to actually use that have that don't have like already better cards pretty much. So obviously we've got Andre Silva and Morales today and I think there's a, a Gabon left mid in the team of the week which I kind of want to use. I don't know if I will be using him. Don't know if I'll even do a video on him, but we'll see. I might link him up to Aubameyang, you know, have a little bit of fun. But anyway, we got Morales and we got Andre Silva. They both actually look pretty good. They've both got decent upgrades. 90 pace, 87 shot, 87 dribbling on this Morales. Not too bad at all. He's 5 foot 11 as well, which isn't terrible to be fair. Andre Silva, if any of you guys have watched me for a while pretty much, then you will remember that the team of the group stage, Andre Silva, was one of the worst special cards I think I've ever used. I hated him so much. So I'm hoping this Inform card at Sevilla will be a little bit different. He's got a bit of a better upgrade than what his team of the group stage had. But I'm just hoping that he's, he's better in game. He's got good attacking positioning. He's got really good sprint speed. It's a pity. I wish he more had like, you know, like 86 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. I think that would be better. I do prefer players like that where they've got more of a balanced pace stat. But uh, I'm just going to be switching those two in game, by the way. I'm going to be putting Morales on the left, Andres over on the right. Purely because... This guy's got four-star weak foot and I can shoot across goal a little bit better. Custom tactics, as you can see, they've not changed from the last video. Player instructions, they're pretty simple, guys. Get in behind, press back line on the front too. Stay forward on the cam. Stay back while attacking on the center, center mid. Everything else is unbalanced. Let's get into a game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. What a team to come up against for the first team. That is incredible. That's, that's such a quick team as well. Like All these players have like... Over like 83 pace, I think, or something like that. That's it. Andre Silva. Oh, oh, that pace and that finish. Not bad. That little pace boost he got from the fake shot. That's that's pretty decent. I'll take that. This guy just legit did the foot draft glitch. It is, what is it? What day is it? The 23rd, I think. Let's have a look. The 23rd of August. It is the 23rd of August, and he has just done the foot draft glitch in Division 1. Oh my god. Wow, I, I actually can't believe that. Let's get into another game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Pretty decent Premier League team. He's got a couple of player of the months, uh, team of the season. He's got a lot of different special cards. I think he's gone for like a... Like a like a rainbow, <laughs> like a rainbow squad, pretty much. Anyway, I just disconnected out of the game, which is just fantastic. Nice, and Iniesta, Morales. Oh, Morales, good stuff, good stuff. As soon as I pulled off the fake shot, that guy like kept tracking back off of me. You know, he kept backing off. I knew I could get the shot off, and I had a feeling he was gonna score. He's got decent enough shooting stats. Say, Andre Silva to Iniesta. To Morales, back to Iniesta. Oh, Iniesta, that is fantastic. Oh, man, his keeper is pulling off some nice saves. No, man, straight from second half kickoff. Man, alas, beautiful. Oh, Andre Silva, you've done so well. He has done so well. He's held off Van Dijk, and he's took it past the left back as well. Get in there, Andre Silva. Beautiful. Morales, Andre Silva. Oh my god, this is so difficult. This guy's defense is all over me, but Andre Silva has turned up. Let's go, man. This guy is good defending. Like, he's just charging at me with so much pace. Like, it's crazy how quick his players feel. <sighs> Kickoff is so bad, isn't it, really? Stuff like that happens way too often. He did me with the fake shot, fair play to him, but then that, look at that, as if. Ah, oh, he's gonna score. He's gonna score, I knew he was gonna score as soon as he switched down to that Salah left foot. Yeah, so that was a little frustrating. I don't feel like he deserved to get the draw, but you know, that guy was a decent player though, he really was. At least he didn't quit, you know. He could have quit when he went 3-1 down, but he paused it, I think he made some changes. And yeah, he got back into the game, so fair play to him. Let's get into another game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Oh, fair enough. It's, uh, it's an interesting one. Bit of a mixture. He's got a lot of players just not even linking together, but, you know, it's, it's up to him what he does. Morales. Andre Silva. Beautiful. 
of a twin Esther. That's a really nice, that's a really, really nice fake shot. This end of an era Esther, if you guys didn't unlock him, he was really, really cheap. And so if you didn't, then I feel for you, man, because he is a great option to use in your squad. He really is. Morales. Come on, lad. That's it. Vieira. Oh, my God. This guy is so good defensively. Come on, Vieira. Let's go. I know I've not been able to score with Andrea Silva and Morales, but this guy is so good defensively. He's reading every single pass I do, and he's on to me like a flash. So I just had to try and work it with someone else. Vieira there, though, just like linking up play and banging it into the bottom corner. It's not every day you see that. Pull it. Morales. That's lucky. Iniesta. Back to Morales. That's great. That is fantastic. Iniesta. I just, I didn't even try to pick out Morales there. I tried to play it back to Andre Silva. But Iniesta has just pulled out that pass out of nowhere. Honestly, I didn't even see the run. Iniesta just like passed it for me. We got ourselves another rage quit. I'm really quite surprised to be honest because that guy was a good player. He really was. I know he conceded three goals, but defensively, I was really struggling to break him down. Let's see what team this guy has. Premier League and, oh, just Premier League. Fair enough. He's, whoa, that's some weird team. Like... He's got loads of really good players, but then he's just like got these random like Dyer and Old Brighton. Oh no, no, no! Oh my God! Well played to him. Morales. Oh, fantastic over to Iniesta. <sighs> I've had one chance, I think. Oh no, I've had a couple of chances, but I've scored a goal now. We're back into it. One all. Let's go! Come on, Iniesta. Beautiful ball over to Morales. Oh my god, Iniesta. What a ball that was. Unbelievable. What a pass. Get in there, Morales. Great run and finishing it off at the end. Oh, no way. No. Alessandrini is weak foot while he's being pressured by Hullet of all players. And he just buries it in the bottom corner. Andre Silva. Oh, no. Iniesta, Andre Silva, oh, Andre Silva, Iniesta, oh my god, you absolute monster, yes, I can't believe that, he's just been injured, and then as soon as his injury little sign went off, he just burst forward into the box and absolutely buries it, I, there was a bit of luck involved, I'll, I'll admit that, bit of luck, I feel like he got pretty lucky to get the block on the shot as well though, but I will take the 3-2 lead, come on, Maldini, De Rossi. That's it, Maldini. Oh, Maldini's destroying it. Oh, my God. Maldini. Wow. He collects the ball at the edge of the box. Plays a quick one, too. And then plays a beautiful through ball through to Morales to finish it off. Now, that's just disgusting. I hate when players get through like that. He doesn't... I'm pretty sure that was this guy's second shot on target. I, I think it was. But look at the way he just gets through. Like, my players just stand still. He just bounces through. I would say the 4-3 win. I feel like he did not deserve to score three goals. Considering, look at that. Look at the shots on target, man. He, scored, he got three shots on target. He scored three goals. Unbelievable. But I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the win. I'll stop complaining. Just don't feel like he deserved to score three goals. That's all. It's funny, really. Because what I'm about to tell you doesn't really make much sense. Considering Morales scored four goals and three assists. And he actually got more goals and more assists than Andre Silva. I just preferred Andre Silva. I, I don't know why it was. To be fair, I didn't really enjoy either of these cards. Not as much as what I enjoyed, like, Richarlison in the last video and stuff like that. I just didn't really quite have the same enjoyment out of these two than what I did last video. Pace-wise, fantastic. Finishing-wise, absolutely fine. Positioning-wise, it's a bit off. I'm going to be honest, it's a bit off. He, he just he stands around a little bit, you know. He doesn't really make much of an effort to make a run sometimes i have to like try and force him to make a run by pressing lb and pass you know what i mean so yeah it's trying to get him into the position can be a bit of a challenge really it's it, honestly it's, it's a bit of a challenge to get him in the position but apart from that his finishing is fine his shot power feels a lot higher than 85 i will give him that passing wise quick one twos that's all you need and this morales can do exactly that so don't we don't worry about his passing Dribbling wise, again, don't really worry about it. He's got a, a decent first touch. Nothing amazing. It's his dribbling mainly that's better. Like, getting it under control, sometimes he will take a loose touch. But in terms of when he's got it under control, 
He's very, very good. So, yeah, don't really worry too much about his dribbling. Just really about his first touch. And his first touch can get a lot worse because he is so weak. And he, that's the one thing that was annoying me about this card. He was getting shrugged off the ball at times where you just don't even think it's possible for a player to get the ball took off him there. But it must have been his strength because I've not used a card like it where he just gets the ball took off him in so, so many weird situations. And you're just left like, how the hell did that just happen? But... You know, it is what it is. Andre Silva, I did enjoy him a little bit more, but I didn't really enjoy either of these, like I said, as much as Richarlison. But yeah, Andre Silva's got a bit more about him. It's an all-round card. Pace-wise, he does take a little while to get going. I will be honest, he does take a little while to get going. He can be annoying at times, because you're like, come on, man, get going. You've got 85 pace, but then you remember that it's mainly his sprint speed that his pace is from, so... Yeah, trying to get up to speed can be a bit of an issue. Positioning-wise, he's absolutely brilliant. He's making runs in behind. Is he getting into the space that you need him to get into? He gets in the positions to score. So positioning-wise, not a problem. Finishing-wise, again, didn't really have a problem, to be honest. He didn't miss many chances, if any. So don't worry about that. Shot power-wise, brilliant. Passing-wise, all you need is quick one-twos, and this guy can do that. I wouldn't say amazing, but yeah, he can do that fine. Dribbling-wise, he's got a nice first touch. He can dribble with the ball. He can carry the ball forward. He feels agile enough, you know. Uh, so I really I really wouldn't worry about his dribbling. I know he's only got 84, but it really wasn't that much of an issue. And physical-wise, like I said, he's got a bit more about him. That's why, why I preferred him over Morales. He wasn't getting the ball took off him as easily. He's got a really nice jump and a really good header on him. He wins a lot of goal kicks. So don't worry about that. And yeah, just like I said, he's got a bit of strength. And he's got the stamina as well. Didn't quite realize he's got 91 stamina. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, I didn't really enjoy these two as much as Richarlison, but they're still two pretty decent cheap informs if you guys are still looking for those at this point in FIFA. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Twitter is always down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.